What's up guys, welcome to JMAC Sports Cards. My name is Jason, got my friend Daniel Hearns here. We're, uh, this is his first time uh, submitting to SGC. So yeah, so uh, it's about 115 cards, 14 cards, something like that. 40 some of them are his, the rest are mine, but I think this is one of my, this is one of my personal better, better orders or funnest orders. And what do you think? What do you think about the whole process? Yeah, man, I'm pretty excited. <clears throat> Jason and I met several months back, and uh, I've done several shows together. And uh, we did this bulk submission to uh, Boca Cards SGC, and man, we're both really excited about uh, what we're uh, getting ready to open up. Yeah, and, I, and so I talked to him about it because uh, you know he was coming, he was going to be coming to pick these up, and I talked to him to see if he wanted to uh, be in the video because I talk about it, I've said his name multiple times in my videos. We've done a bunch of bulk deals together and stuff like that. You make connections in the hobby, you know, and then I'm um, like, you know, now he's, he's at my house here. So you, you never know, small world, you know, meet good people. The hobby's good, man. Yeah, Jason's a good guy. We've done a lot of deals where I sold him a bunch of bulk cards that were really nice cards. He got them graded. And I was like, man, I need to go through my stuff and pull out, you know, some cards I want to send in. So we've got some some newer stuff. We've got some Michael Jordan stuff and then some older some older cars too, the, some vintage cars that we're pretty excited about. So One, one of mine is left over from that, that Jason that Kidd. Yeah, that's Jason what I was thinking, that Jason Kidd auto. Yeah, so if you look over here, we'll show you real quick. Here's all the cards. That lot is uh, Daniel's. That stack's mine. So we're gonna uh, flip it around here and then uh, we'll do a review. I'll do uh, Daniel's first here, let him see his. He hadn't uh, seen him in person. He's seen him in, in the images. So let's get right into it. All right, here we go. This is uh, Daniel Stack. Chase Studio, or Portrait, I should say, at the 9.5. There we go. Mackie Jones, 9.5. There you go, it's your first 10. Pretty sweet, Justin Fields. I'll make stacks of uh, grades here. There you there go. go, there's the goat. Brady, yeah, very nice. That chrome, that's what you're putting together, right? Try, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to get every chrome year. This is a blue platinum, 2014. It's a beaut. Here's an older card, so this is that 90 Pro Set Emmett Smith Rookie of the Year. We got a nine. I mean, these pro set cards are super thin. Yeah, 30, really hard to grade out. Thirty years old. Thirty so year old card. I mean, not mad at that. Not mad at that at all. No, that's a high grade uh, card there. So these kind of got me. I had a couple Brett Favre pack fresh rookies that I pulled out. I'm about to go back over these and look and see, but got a couple eight fives on these. So obviously it's something I was missing. But I got those out of a fresh box of '91. You never know. Yeah, we did kind of like a little pre-review of them. Eight five on the uh, breeze as well. This is tough with these black borders. And the gold, so probably miss a bit on that too. Yeah, and I mean a few of them you just wanted to you wanted to slab up anyway. Yeah, I just wanted some of these just for PC. These aren't that valuable, really valuable cards anyway, but just wanted them up for the PC. I was kind of hoping for a little bit higher on but one of those breezes. I like this card here. So this is a Michael Vick rookie card. I got the nine five on that. You know, this is twenty two years old, twenty one years old, and it's the checklist of all the rookies. So pretty cool card there for a nine five. Mm-hmm. This was pretty fun. So this is the action pack gold rookie card of Brett Favre. Got a nine on that. And these edges and corners are really tough with that gold foil. So I'm pretty happy with that nine for sure. Yeah, I was surprised that that one graded that high because um, those are hard. We got, this is an Earl Campbell rookie card from 1979. Not mad at this at all. Obviously these are older football cards with cheap paper stock. So pretty happy with the seven on that actually. That's really awesome. Pretty cool, Earl Campbell. I kind of PC Earl Campbell, so that's exciting. There's something a little bit different here. A 91 Marvel Wolverine, got the 9.5 here. It's off center just a tad, but the rest of the card is gorgeous. We'll see some more uh, Marvel stuff coming up in my next submission. This is a card that I actually bought a brand new box of 1987 OPG baseball from a guy out of Texas. I opened the whole entire box. I pulled this Barry Bonds rookie card Obviously, he's uh, up for Hall of Fame voting right now. Got the seven five. It's off center to the left, but outside of that, man, this is a super clean card. That's, I mean, that's a that's a decent grade on this OPG. You know, that's super rare. So. The pop. There's hardly any tens in existence. There's a couple nines and a couple eights, but I'm not mad at this at all. So, pretty cool card there. That was a pack fresh pack I called. Now this right here is a pretty cool card. 
This is 1984 USFL Herschel Walker rookie card. Um, obviously from 1984, so this thing is over 35 years old. Got the 85 on this, super happy with this. Um, there's hardly any 10s out there, and the 10s are crazy valuable, so pretty happy with this 85. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a cool card there. With this pink border on the back, <coughs> really tough to get a 10 but it's really nice clean card i was impressed that um on your submission because you know this is your first time submitting i i when I, my first couple times i i had some bombs you know what i mean and uh, i had a I couple but not really crazy so uh, I appreciate it, that. it was a good submission now here's this was something that i picked up at the uh, winston salem show picked up a lot of like eight brady's and this was the best rookie that i thought in the bunch so got the skybox impact eight on the Brady. That's sweet. Not mad at that at all either. Obviously these cards were very, very tough to grade, so pretty happy about that eight. I got this in that same collection and I got the uh, Walter Payton rookie. This is the Barry Sanders rookie, 89 score. And, uh, you know, eight five on this, I probably, you know, I kind of knew this was off center a little bit, but still want to get this slabbed up. It's a pretty cool car for PC. Yeah, looks good. This one is the only one I'm kind of questioning. Um, this is a Ken Griffey Jr. 89 upper deck. I got this actually out of a complete set um, that was in pages. I looked the card over it, man. I, I thought it was see, really let, good. Let me show you what they dinged this one on. Turn it over. See this? Hologram. Yeah, hologram. See it's off center? Yeah. So that, that for some reason they grade that like the card itself. But the rest of the card, man, it's pretty well centered and really good edges and stuff, but that, still, still an iconic card. That's why that card is the hard, so hard to tin. There's so many things you gotta have perfect. Yeah, the hologram that, is hardly ever perfect in the middle. And that so. one's really bad off, but the card itself is well centered. This is one of the better uh, 90 Fleer uh, All Star stickers I've ever pulled out of a fresh pack. But uh, still, as you can see, that's why the tens are so valuable. Got a nine, and man, it is almost flawlessly centered. It's a beautiful card. A couple touches of white on the corners, but man, as I you remember, know, these are tough to pull. I remember pulling those as a kid out of packs not easy to grade sent in a couple other jordans obviously not mad at this at all the 89 all-star 95 i'll have to look this over and that's nice see though. what we missed on that nice card for sure look would have loved to 10 in that but hey another here 92 hoops jordan 95 not going to complain about any jordan with, with the goatee <laughs> Heck yeah that was in the uh that was when he was getting ready to retire uh -huh. like, i'm gonna go play some baseball so this is the upper deck uh, Jordan 91, 92, got the nine in that. It's a lot of times that hologram will get you as well, so learning on those. Yeah. Got a couple more Jordans oh, here. Oh, no, okay. I thought, <laughs> I thought that was the big one. This right here is that Z Force 9. Obviously, with the black borders and the purple, this thing's really hard to come out perfect, but not mad at it either. Take a nine and up on Jordans all day. Man, I had a couple of these David Robinsons. These are packed, fresh, pulled, and kind of got, I got to kind of go back and look these over and see what I might have been missing, but. Got a couple eight fives on these and hoping for some tens. These are packed fresh pulled too as well. Got the nine on the 89 Jordan. Oh yeah. Still a good card. And this is the more rare David Robinson rookie with the jersey. Got the nine five on that too. This is packed fresh out of an unopened box. So as you know, these tens are hard to get. So when we get a 10, that's, we're super excited. That's a good one. You're stacking nine fives, it's pretty yeah, big. Yeah, you got a big one. All right, the Sean Kemp rookie card obviously is tough in this gold border. Uh, these Skybox 91s are hard, but I want to get this slabbed up. Kind of PC Sean Kemp, so I got a couple of his slabbed up. This is kind of rare. It's the Bowman Chrome Brady from 2014. Got the 9.5 on that as well, so super happy about that card. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is that Topps Gold reigning playoff MVP. Got the 9.5 on that, so super happy about this card. Beautiful in that slab with the white border with the black background. It really pops. I got an 85 on the one I said in last time. I know. <laughs> yeah, so this one too, this is the McDonald's upper deck. Got the 85 on that. I think this hologram might have got me as well on this one, so we'll go back and look this over, but still not bad for a Jordan 85. This was super exciting. So this is that 97, 98 Hoops Jordan. I mean, not a high end card, but to get this in the 10, I think it pops really great with that black and Any red Jordan in 10 is yeah. like, a, is, that's a nice hit. Beautiful on the back too, so really happy about that 10, Jordan. This golf card obviously is really popular. Uh, George Nolan is a big time golfer, got the nine on this. These are super hard with the grass around the edges. And uh, this was the best one I had out of a bunch of packs I opened, so got the nine on that. This is obviously a really hard card to grade as well. This is the Shaquille O'Neal traded card in the upper deck. So it was a 1A and a 1B. 
It's got the nine. These are really hard to grade with that mm -hmm. black. Um, and the hologram, so not, not mad at all about that. This was an awesome card here, so we've got the 10 on this Jordan. Another it's 10. It's a 98 uh, upper deck. The Ionix. That's a cool and guard, She's man. She's gorgeous with the gold foil, so pulled this card and I wanted to send this in. I think it's gorgeous. It's got the black and red border, so to get a 10 in this card, I was really happy about that. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure the pop count's low on that. So this is kind of crazy. So this is like a lower end Kobe, but it's the checklist card for that year's rookies. Um, super clean card and uh, it got the nine. So that's a pretty cool card. It's got the checklist of all the rookies for that year. So I thought that was pretty cool to get that to nine. This card I just sent in just cause I wanted one slabbed up. This is that iconic Mark Jackson card with the Menendez brothers in the background. I knew it wasn't a perfect 10, but I just want to get this in a slab. So seven, five on that, I was kind of expecting that. These are super hard, obviously, with the centering and that silver. Yeah. It goes perfect, but fun little card. Uh-oh. I see the next one. Uh-huh. So here's a big one, guys. So story on this card, uh, at the end of the show in Raleigh, I was walking around looking at other dealers. There was a guy who had a bunch of high-end cars that were raw, and he was uh, trying to sell them to dealers and get some money at the end of the night. And uh, he had two of these cards, and both of them looked flawless to me when I looked at them. The dealer that was originally working with him bought one and I bought the other. So I bought this card raw in Raleigh and man, me and Jason looked this thing over a couple times and I was like, man, I think this thing is gonna be a 10. So this is probably the hit of the whole submission. Booyah. This is that East West 5 Jordan 10 and it's got obviously Kobe on the back. How cool is that? So man, this is probably making me get chill bumps right now. Oh, look, look at that man. So like, even last SGC sale of a ten was like thousand bucks. Yeah, right at a thousand bucks. But you know, it's I think it's, I think it's, I think that was low on it. You know. So this thing's gonna be uh, at the Mooresville show at Sports Wax Promotions, and uh, if you're interested, come down and let's talk. You got to pay up for it though. <laughs> <laughs> I might stay in the PC for a while. Now this was pretty cool. Um, I got this set off of an older collector in Charlotte. He had the entire set and they were top loaded and sleeved from back in 1991. This is that 92 um, Barcelona USA basketball team, the dream team. Got the 9-5 on the right card. We got the 10 on the look, Jordan. Yeah, that's how I was going to say. Yeah, the one with the Jordans is the most hardest I, to get. I looked them over so, and I was like, if you yeah. want to get a 10 on one of them, that's got the Got the 10 on the middle card, so that's super hot. And then. Not 10s. Yeah. And then the left card, I got the 9-5 as well. So. Pretty cool to see this whole set, obviously. Um, these three go together to make the whole dream team. So the Jordan in the middle with the 10 and the nine fives on the side. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Might keep that for the PC, for sure. That's awesome. Love that. Got a couple more and we'll be done. This is pretty cool. So nine five skybox salutes Jordan. I just love this white border, super clean card, the white background and kind of that nineties pink and stuff is just beautiful nine five. Here's the scoring leaders of the same set. Got the 10. Killing it on the, on the MJs, huh? These Jordan, these older 90 Skybox Jordans are obviously really tough to 10, so happy about those. This is another one here. These are obviously really hard to get perfectly centered. Got the nine on the 89 hoops. I'll get a 10 one day on one of those. And then finally, got the nine on the 91, 90, no, sorry, 92, 93 All-Star Jordan. So super happy about this submission, man. Appreciate you helping me out, Jason. And here we got our stack. So nine fives and nines are where the money is. There you go. And you know, obviously got a seven on this Earl Campbell, but not mad at that at all. So there it is. I right. appreciate your help, Jason. Yeah, man, no, no doubt. But run, my, I'm gonna run through mine real, I'm gonna go kind of real fast on these, but. Um, <laughs> they, no, Maybe I mean, you're over here excited about it. Hey, hey man, it's, it's, it's all good. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll fly through these real quick. But this is a fun submission for sure. All right, so I'm going to start off here. This, this, this tall stack is uh, all basketball. These two stacks are football. So, I mean, right off the bat, got the Cosmic uh, R.J. Barrett. Shout out to uh, uh, Cousin Eddie Cards on that one. He sold it to me at trade night one night. Another R.J. Barrett. I, I haven't determined yet, and, and I'm, about, I'm going on a cruise tomorrow. So... I'm not really going to be selling these yet, but there's an R.J. Barrett Fractal. Um, but, uh, I mean, there's quite a few in here I want to keep in my PC, but ha probably at least half of them are going to be going for sale. Cole Anthony, Hollow, Orange Laser. Got the 10. 
So three for three so far. Uh, Lamello, Green Prism, 10. So on a roll so far. Uh, Revolution, Mellow got the 10, pretty cool. Uh, so this one is a numbered uh, maxi. It's the blue to 99, thick, thick stock. And actually, they they didn't even put it in a thick case. So it's uh, it's probably 50 point, I guess. So it's not real thick. Maxi here on the teal explosion 10. So oh yeah, make sure I stack them in the correct. Uh, but anyway, that recon is a thick hobby stock, so it's hard to, I'd say it's kind of hard to tin them, to get tins on them, but I've got a couple here. So there's the Ant-Man Future Legends, yet got a tin. So a lot of the basketball got tins. So Ant, uh, Cole Anthony, Blue Velocity Prism got a tin. So killing it so far on these. Got the Mira Blue Cole tin. Um, this one's like a, a kind of a, it's a retro rated rookie. So it's not actually rookie year. They just acetate came out with a kind of a reprint of the, well, it's not a reprint because um, looks different than the actual, his actual Donruss rookie. But anyway, it's a cool insert. So I wanted to slab it and I PC Duke player. So another Tatum, nine five, the rookies. Tatum, this one is Majestic Red. That was number to 249, got a nine. Another, uh, this one is Panini Ascension. And uh, that one's numbered to 75. That got a nine. Those are all rookies. Um, remember this one, Daniel? Uh, Daniel bought a bunch of boxes of this Onyx and I bought a couple from him and I got the Brianna Stewart in here. That's blue, so that one's numbered. It's on the back if you read it. It says uh, blue and green are numbered to 50. I don't know if you can see that. So that, this one's numbered to 50. There's only 50 of them. So it got the 10-10. So Sweet card. That's that solid. That is solid. Oh, man, that's nice. I, I got another one. I got the green because it says blue or green. I got a green one at the last show, and I sold it for like 60 bucks raw on eBay. So this is uh, Zach Levine. It's not a rookie. It's not his rookie year. It's like second year, third year. Uh, but it's on card. No, it's a sticker auto. Okay. It looked like it was on card. But it's calligraphy, uh, Excalibur, cool card, 1010. Um, there you go. So the Cavaliers are playing real well this year. There's a Jared Allen fast break prism rookie auto at the 10 auto nine grade. Picked that up um, in Asheville, actually. Um, fairly rare uh, Tatum, it's the blue variation, hoops, nine five. Another Mellow, another 9.5. That one's the Target box set. This is one of the bigger cards for me in the set here. I bought, you saw this in the, one of my show videos. I picked it up, bought it raw from a guy. I paid up on it actually, because I, I looked it over and I was like, man, it looks really good. Um, so I, I think I paid like 130 for it raw. And um, man, my assumption was was right. It, it, a 9.5 is A-OK -okay with me. So nine on the green prism amp, man. Excited about this one. Uh, Miles Bridges playing out of his mind this year. He's actually uh, IMO, in my opinion. He's playing. He's he's the star of the Hornets. Honestly, he's he's out playing Lamelo. Um, but uh, you know, Lamelo gets all the pub. It's a ten. It's a silver prism. Look at a lottery insert. D Wade tops. This one. I, this is the one I'm going to look back over. This one, uh, there's, there's usually one or two cards, you know, you're like, ah, I think, but look at the centering on that, you know. So it's got to be a corner or a surface issue that I missed on it. But I mean, even back centering on it looks amazing. So I don't know why. I, I figured I'd get at least a 9.5 on it. So, um, and this one, I got a history with this card. This is a black, Dwayne Wade black and white variation. Um, I'm, I, I'm actually trying to get all of these 03, 04. The LeBron rookie is the one that's pretty expensive, but I got this in a 10. So I was trying to get another 10 because um, I'm not selling my my way 10, but I'll sell that nine there. So yeah, this, this one's cool. Ant-Man target box set, got the 10. Another Curry rookie here. This one is pretty cool. Um, this one is, uh, it's a rookie insert. So it's Steph Curry, Tim Hardaway. Generations, low key card there. Here's the one that uh, came out of the lot that I bought from uh, my guy Daniel here. 
So Jason Kidd, on card, auto. I mean, look how good that auto looks. I mean, they don't sound like that no more, you know what I mean? Um, it's got his number on it, but, you know, it is numbered to 1,994, 1994. So it's a classic card. Um, but it, I just, it, you know, I don't even think it's that big of a card. I just wanted it to slide. This one is pretty crazy. Check this out, Dan. So this came from... Um, Buddy's uh, shop, mm -hmm. Dollar Box. No way. And it's a it's a John Stockton Blue Prism number to ninety nine. I looked it over. I said, dude, Blue Prism sell for like a, a premium. Beautiful. And um, and so I was like, Sexy. dude, I was like, man, I'm gonna slab that thing. So here's a Jordan. Uh, this is gold, a gold rookie. Because I wouldn't I wouldn't typically slab a Jordan Alvarez rookie, but because it's gold, numbered uh, to like twenty twenty. Got the 9.5. Um, well, this was basketball and baseball. And then this one I got in a collection I bought. So it's a Trey Turner Gold Auto, Rookie Auto Top Stating Club, 12 of 25. So, and that's on card auto. I mean, you take a look yourself. So if you're, you're into baseball, like all my baseball is always for sale because I don't PC any of it hardly. So, um, all right, there you go. That's, uh, that's the basketball and baseball. Let me move these around here and um, get right into football. All right, we're starting off here with a bang. Here's the Tom Brady. So this is low key. Like this was going to my PC. I'm not selling this because this is Tom Brady's first Topps Chrome card. Everyone goes after the Bowman Chrome rookie, which you know you should, because that's his actual rookie. But what's the flagship product of uh, you know during this time frame? Topps Chrome. So there's Brady's first Topps Chrome card in a nine. So that was PC. If I get more, I'll sell. But I got to keep one of them in my PC. Um, so there's Jonathan Taylor Hollow Prism 9.5. Kids a baller. Led the league in basically everything. That's a Tatis Gold Cup. Uh, he got the 9.5. It's a pink refractor. I was really hoping for a 10 on that one because it's not that big of a card. Um, this is a cool card. I knew it wasn't going to 10 because it was off top to bottom, but everything else was real sharp on it. And 8.5, I'm fine with on the Kevin Durant rookie. That's the 86, 87 variation. So it's, um, everyone kind of chases those cards. This is a big one. Uh, Trevor, uh, premium press proof. You know, I, I showed him my last one, a recent video that I got a, a full set uh, of this. Now, and I'm sending those off left and right. I, but this was before I bought that set. I bought, picked that up from someone. This one's a Trevor, number 99, got a 9.5. So, a rookie number 90, 99. And I'm picking up a lot of these quarterbacks throughout this offseason. That's going to be sort of my one of my plans here in the offseason. There's a Jonathan Taylor rookie, reactive, green reactive, 9.5. And then you're going to start seeing, I, did a, I sent off a bunch of Brady second and third year. This is... This is his, so this will be his second Topps Chrome card. This is 03 Topps Chrome. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to be trying to get one of each of Brady's Topps Chromes in my PC and then maybe move into refractors after that. So, uh, but this is the, this is the paper. This is the 03 Topps paper. You got a 9.5. Another one. Got a 9.5. And those are all going to be for sale, the paper ones. Uh, nine on the 03. This is second year 02 score. You got the 8.5. Second year upper deck, got a 10. So that's a pretty big card. I mean, think about like think about what Jordan's second year cards do, right? And here's a Brady, second year, uh, in a 10. So all right, here we go. Here's the, here's the swing and a miss for me. I submitted about a, a stack of about five or six. Burrows, I threw him in when he when he threw those nine touchdowns in the last two regular season games, and I didn't look him over that good. I do kind of think they just kind of like just lumped them all together with an eight five. Most of them got eight five. Green eight five, red eight five. But you know, the kids balling. Even these eight fives. You think about Mahomes as eight fives rated rookies. Look what they do. They still they still fetch about two hundred bucks. So if he wins the Super Bowl, yeah, that'd be all right. I might even just hold him to see if he actually wins. Super Bowl, but that one's top to bottom. But these reds, I looked at them, top to bottom, top to bottom. I, but I, I still figured they'd get nines at least. But you know, but here's the only one that got a good grade. This one, the the yellow, got a nine five, and you can see top to bottom is better. But still left right off. So anyway, sometimes they 
you know, and, and I've always been able to really look over SGC and find that usually find what they're uh, what they found. This is a really cool card. It's probably my biggest. I, I would say this is probably the biggest value card in, in the lot here. It's a uh, Russell Wilson tops uh, Supreme. And it's a dual auto, of course. Who you know? Who cares about the other guy, <laughs> Nick Dune? I mean, some people may, but he's obviously. Some people say that he pulls the value down. But in my opinion, this is a R Russell Wilson rookie auto number to 25, and this is jersey number. It's jersey number three. Of so, this is a huge card, to, and I'm gonna list it as such. So there won't be no lo low balling on that one. <laughs> um, another, this is super iconic. You know. Uh, this is a uh, Montana Brady. I got a 10, so that's an awesome card. Again, so I've had a few of those, and, and I've never had one that looked good enough to submit, so I was happy about getting that. So this is a big card, too, here. It's fairly big. This is a Brady Silver Prism, and it got a 10. So Beautiful. Yeah, I think I've seen it sell for between 120 and 150 in SGC 10. I won't be selling that low. <laughs> PSA I think sells for like three to four so it'd be closer to that if you want to take it from my uh, paws <laughs> and then there's a Brady rookie got an eight so I got this from Daniel right here uh, and he bought that he brought a he bought a Brady rookie collection he was talking about it earlier and this is one of them he um he let me pick. both got eight both got eights on them we picked the best of the ones he had and he sold the rest of them we knew they weren't perfect but yeah it was Brady graded eight i mean i ain't gonna be mad at that yeah once i started looking over and, sh and showing them a lot of the defects i was like look at me a lot of those especially those a lot of these kinds um a lot of those brady rookies have a real bad surface scratches on them so these this is cool we got herbert uh prism black 10 i got not one but two so super happy about that aaron Rodgers rookie Nine five, you know. I know some people are going to be down on him because he they lost. But you, you got to think next year he's going to be making some decisions, and his, so if his cards do drop, that would be great because I'll probably buy more rookies of Rodgers because he's, uh, you know, he is getting a little bit more like in Peyton Manning territory where he really hasn't been able to pull it off. But there's going to be hype when if he changes teams next year, there's going to be hype around that. This is a uh, Aaron Rodgers rookie, the number to nine ninety nine. So you can see, and you can see it's numbered 420 of 999. So some uh, <laughs> some old head was well, well, gonna want that thing. Um, Aaron Rodgers might want that one. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers might want that. He might want to go to California. There you go. Um, there's a pink prism. Uh, Trey Lance got a 10. So that's tough. I think we got a good grader, honestly, because because yeah, yeah. some of, I don't usually get this many tens with SGC. So that one is um, I bought I bought a um, hobby box of. This playoff, and I actually pulled the, the Dak, the Carson Wentz, and a couple. <coughs> one more card you're gonna see in here, but that one got a nine-five. I was pretty confident that was gonna get a ten. So mm. um, there's another Herbert nine-five. So can't go wrong with Herbert or Burrow or Mac Jones. Um, hype died some, but you know what? This one's numbered to ninety-nine. Blue. This is what. Luminance, yeah, nine five. So I mean, you say the hype died a little bit, but in my opinion, Mac Jones and Tom Brady both engineered a comeback to tie the game, and their defense let them down. So it's true. It's not on the quarterback, in my opinion, on either one of those games. Well, and as a rookie quarterback, made it to the playoffs, exactly. I mean, you know. So uh, people are just kind of like just so short term minded. There's Trey Lance got a three ninety uh, out of three ninety nine, got a ten. That's pretty big because uh, you know. It's gonna it's gonna finish out this year, and he's he's gonna be taking over the 49ers probably le next year, which will be interesting. There's a Tua tricolor die cut prism, and this one is field level. So I know I got some Dolphins fans that follow me, and, and you guys are cultish about collecting. There you go. There's one for you. Reach out to me. All right, here's a biggie. Here's the same card. Uh, tricolor die cut prism, Joe Burrow 10. I think what I'm gonna do with this one, I think I'm. I don't, I don't. I think this will be the best Burrow rookie I would have in my collection. So I'm going to rotate some more out that I got. So I'm not going to sell that one. I do want to keep. At least I usually try to keep one big card of each player and and then sell them sell them off as I get bigger cards. There's Justin Fields, purple uh, rookie to 149, got a nine. Disappointed in this one. Uh, really thought this was at least a nine, but uh, whatever. Eight five, Patrick Mahomes rookie. You don't see these very often either. Here's a Mac Jones, the rookie's got a 10. 
Another Mac Jones Retail Absolute got a 9.5. Another Mac Jones Rookie Revolution got a 10. Excited about those because my last Mac Jones submission, I bombed it. Here's a cool card out of that same playoff hobby box I got. Check it out. It's a Rob Gronkowski third down, 18 of 25. So this is a 2016 Gronk and Patriot. You know, so there's Patriot fans, you know, rabid Patriot fans that would love to have this card. So that's a that's a cool one. Here's a cool one. Uh, DJ Moore select. So I got so many DJs that I've, I occasionally pull out a couple just you know slab and sell but when they hit when they 10 10 it's hard to then, <laughs> then might keep that for a while it's gonna be hard to, i probably list it high and make you know, turn people away from it uh that this is a cool card i picked this up in Asheville as well and uh you know it's the thick stock you can see it's got the whatever uh it's a thick slab so i was expecting the eight five or nine tops it got a nine five so yep. that's nice um Here's a pretty cool card. This is a Brady. This one is also a field level. It's not a silver, but it is um, it's field level, so it's still short print. And another cool card. Uh, I've been scoping out and picking up along the way some serial numbered Brady's. This one's from 05, passing the torch. Um, some of you that have been watching the channel a while, you saw I had one with passing the, there's a passing the torch with Joe Montana on the back and or Brady's on the back, Montana on the front, and uh, I sold I sold that one I had, and I picked up a couple of more of these. But there's like a few different variations. Two, there's some number to two fifty, five hundred, seven fifty thousand. This one was numbered to a thousand. But uh, I mean, look at that in a tux. Beautiful. You know. So that's all. We, that's all of these, man. So um, pretty decent stack there. The the big in those tens, nine fives, nines, and you got to think though, mine's there's a lot more modern stuff in here, so. Um, Daniel sent, submitted a lot of 90s stuff. Um, so, but uh, man, I'm pretty, like I said, I think this is one of my better submissions and funnest for me because it had so much uh, variety and the Brady's in it and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, good. You, you, you enjoyed it? Man, it was awesome. It was a great experience, man. I really think, uh, you know, just, just going through the whole process of like, you know, pulling out cards you, that you like, pulling out cards you think are pretty good condition. And going through them with a fine tooth comb, a little 10 times magnifying glass myself. And then Jason went through my cards. I think I had 52 originally, and then we ended up with 46. And Jason said, You know what? For what you're looking at, what you're wanting to do with these cards, these are probably, you know, we should probably send these in. So I appreciate Jason with the experience of the grading experience he has to help me kind of like help me pare down like what I should send in and what I shouldn't. So it's a learning process, as we know. And then we'll go back and look at some of the lower grades where we're kind of like, Man, what did we miss? And then we'll see what we missed, and uh, then we'll know what to look for maybe on. To some gotchas. Well, hey, look, and the uh, announcement today was that the Boca Raton, again, SGC, lowered the prices, so now you can submit for 23 bucks. So, I mean, you know, it, may, it, may, it may not sound like much, but if you send a, submit 100 cards, that's, you're saving $200. So you get down, we can submit a, a 100 cards for $2,300 instead of $2,500. So it all adds up, and it all becomes more margin for you that you can make more money on, and or it's just cheaper to submit, even if you just submit a smaller amount. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I'll, I'll probably link, you know, Boca Raton's website down below, but it's been fun, man. I appreciate you coming over and uh, Good experience, man. I appreciate you letting me come out. And one thing they did also, uh, Rick, they said they got a five day turnaround for oh, 50 bucks. So right. some bigger, bigger cars we want back quicker. I mean, 50 bucks to get it back in five, five days five is pretty awesome. Days. What this ended up taking us right at four weeks exactly, right? Yeah, and it, it was taking five, it was taking five weeks, five, uh, yeah. around five with Boca Raton because they, he does, he can get them the fastest because he picks them up uh, at the door or wherever with the other bulk subs. You, they have to, you mail them to them, then they got to mail them. And then they pick, then they get mailed back to them, then they got to mail them to you. With this guy, uh, with with uh, Eric at Boca Raton, you know, he, he, you send them to him, he drops them off at the door at Boca, or at SGC, I'm sorry. White Glove Service. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's you know what I mean? It's, it's, the best way to, it's the best way to submit through with SGC. So. Um, anyway, that, I don't think we're running long. Yeah, it's going to be probably a 35, 40 minute video. And I'm not going to do any editing on this one, guys. So take it take it as it is. So once again, though, thanks, Danny, man. Appreciate you coming. And, um, uh, we, you know, his car, he's going to be, he's going to be, I'm going to be at the local shows here recently uh, that are coming up, but I'm not going to be at the one this weekend in Mooresville. He'll be there. Um, but I'll be at uh, Charlotte. I'll be at Spartanburg, February 5th. And then I'll be at Charlotte, February 12th. So come out, check us out. Some of these will be here. Some of these are staying in my collection. But um, that's all we got. Until next time, guys. Those pieces out.